What are you doing? Eating that soup? First of all, it's not soup, it's ramen. Ramen is soup. Ramen is not soup. What's the problem? What, what What is the problem? Are you okay? No, are you okay? That's what I'm asking you. I'm fine. Are you sure you're fine? Yes. Because you're eating ramen. Yeah? Yeah. I like ramen. You only eat ramen when you're sad. <laughs> it's your sad meal. Which makes sense because it's terrible for you. Pretty, pretty garbage, Mom. So now you're eating ramen just to top it all off. It's like comforting to me. Yeah, that's not something you can disagree about. What's going on, Chavez Slovakia? We're here to reshoot the travel video. If you could stop slurping in my video, that would be great. I don't know why you bought hot soup up here for. Because that's disgusting. That's just gross. That's, that's gross and nobody deserves to hear that. Me and my wife are wearing black because we're in mourning. For my sense of humor and my wife's stomach. Uh, travel by Internet Story. We've already seen it because uh, the camera died, and uh, or the memory card died. One of the videos we lost like months ago. Okay, really, stop. We're shooting a video. Okay. Just go somewhere else while I shoot this. Internet historian said that I'm allowed that to snack on his videos. That doesn't, he doesn't even live anywhere near here. Put your headphones on, let's go. Okay, he doesn't even speak English. What are you talking about? He uses a translator. You seen that guy's face? That's not really him. Hey. I'm ready to do this yet again. Okay, where would you like to travel to? Quick, go. Uh, I want to go to Europe. Europe. Yeah. Bolivia. Nobody wants I to. I just figured out where Bolivia was. Why would you want to go to Bolivia? What's in Sounds Bolivia? Great. Is this thing recording the fucking... Boom. Okay, fix that. Uh, and she's still eating. You thought, you think you would be done by now. So Europe. You know they don't have ramen in Europe. It doesn't exist. Can't find it. I don't think that's... Go on the street, you look left, right, left, no ramen. You know that? I don't think that's true. Yeah, and you're, and you're over here slurping it down in front of all those people who can't fucking have it. That's fucked up. You know, we're married, but we could not be. There's like, there's options now. There's male advocates for marriage now. I don't deal with this shit. Ooh. So we're going to play this video now that you've ruined my intro uh, for the second time. She ruined it last time, too. No, I didn't. And here we go. Wow. <laughs> Aga. Agus and on in the. <laughs> Have you got any weird travel or like holiday stories? No, none. I've oh, this been is great. Right I what, forgot really? about starting. You're doing a bit. No, you're doing a bit. You're definitely doing a bit. <laughs> if you've <laughs> ever been <laughs> traveling and done a holiday in that, please leave a comment <laughs> in the comment section below. <laughs> We'd love to feature it in the next video. All right, you have to be dropped somewhere in the Boom. wilderness. You can't pick a place with civilization, right? Okay. And you got to survive there for a week. Yeah. Where do you go? Okay, so somewhere completely lawless and abandoned. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay, London. <laughs> London. <laughs> I know what place I'm not choosing. Okay. Australia. Australia! I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Is he New Zealandy or Australian? -y? I'm pretty sure he's Australian. He's Australian, -y, right? Aus Aust Australianite? Aust an Australian? Australian Australianites. Yeah, that makes sense. Australianese? Australianese. <laughs> Australian ish. I don't know. All I know is that he told me my Australian accent was on point, so. It's not, but. He, Have you ever been to Spain? You huh? cannot speak for Australians, okay? But internet historian can. Yeah, all right. of them. He's the face of Australia. All right, mate? <laughs> what if he hates it, but just was like encouraging you to do it, to be nice? They have like a nice thing in Australia. Like they're nice to people even He'd if they're bad and stuff. right jolly wanker. I think that's the wrong A one. right jolly wanker. <laughs> That's the wrong. Say that five times fast. I think I, I think I went more British. Yeah, I went there once, but I got lost in Barcelona <laughs> so for like a full day. Oh, right. Really? What happened? I remember How this story. Oh, like, uh, 14? Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. He's just an old fucking 14 year old. <laughs> body of a child just lost. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was. <laughs> I was there with my mum, and I wanted to walk down to the bakery to get something, which I'd seen the previous day. And it was like, oh yeah, you can walk down the road and you turn left. I've got a terrible sense of direction. Okay. So I was 14, and it's maybe 10 in the morning, and I was like, all right, so you just go down there and you turn left, and there's the <laughs> bakery. Anyway, so I do that, and... Uh, I turn left and the bakery's not there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd imagine just like Gmod's just the building, it's dragged by like gravity gun. 
Really? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was is it? there, just, now oh, it's, it's not, not there. Okay, Boom. maybe it's down this street. And then that just begins, maybe it's this street. And then I have absolutely no idea how to get back. And you've got that ramping up tension as well, right? Like, you think this will be the street, this will be the street, and it's not. And the anxiety kind of builds up and stuff. Well, for a long time, I was actually, you know, I was just exploring and, and having a good time. But I thought, oh, what I'll do is I'll just start doing, how like, concentric circles. And then I'd have to find the hotel again. That would be fine. Um, I start doing, like, larger and larger circles, but I keep ending up at dead ends. And so having to sort of back trace and then it's getting to lunchtime and i don't have a phone i've got my wallet and it's got like 30 bucks then it becomes the afternoon then it becomes the early evening i i haven't told my mom where i'm going or what i'm doing (laughs) oh shit and so by the sort of mid evening it's like 7 p.m i've been on my feet for nine hours and i'm like oh i should probably just talk to a policeman or something at this point. Took him all day to come back and I go up to him and I go, hi, I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm a lost little boy. <laughs> hola, senor. Como estas? <laughs> yeah, hola, hola, ma, 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 and, um, <laughs> mama, papa, go. <laughs> They go bye-bye. <laughs> Just acting like they've been like assassinated by the local Sicarios or something. Oh my god, what? He, <laughs> what? Mexico, is it, and this guy me- is not what? interested in helping me one bit. Sir, uh, that's Mexico. What? They're the same. They speak the same uh, Espanola. Uh, also, uh, I'm like, I'm like listening to this story, right? And I'm just thinking about how, like, if this were to happen to me, I would definitely start making contingency plans. For your death. For, no, no. Start, like, writing letters. If you find my body, my no. mother's name is... Okay. No, not for my death. I was uh-huh. not that, like, not that dramatic. Uh-huh. But I would definitely have been like, okay... That looks like a safe bridge to sleep under, and I can get this thing to make a shelter, and I would have never... My brain would never go there. I'm not finna sleep outside. <laughs> I don't care how I tired I get, I am finding just, my shit. I would definitely just start thinking of ways to survive on my own. I'm a street urchin now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm the parasite of the streets. I just live here. Up, and then I'm just wandering around again and again. I ended up at this beautiful cathedral. I can't remember what it's called. Hold on. So it's a gorgeous thing. Yeah. Near there, you know, all the tourists go there. So there's a big like taxi rank. And there might be 50 cabs. And so I was like, right, what I'll do you is I'll Uber, just you walk die around now. to each They didn't have taxi Uber back then, And baby. just ask them, do you know where X hotel is? The hotel that I was staying at. But the problem was, this hotel was totally new. Like, it had just opened two Jesus weeks prior, Christ. so nobody so knew bad. it. So I went through 50 cabs. Hey, do you know where the X hotel is? Do you know no. where the X hotel is? Just getting more and more desperate. I got to the end of, like, 50 cabs, and nobody knew where to go. And I was like, I'm kind of out of options here. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, so start thinking about options for where to exactly. sleep. Exactly! And then exactly. I look in my wallet, no. and I notice the this. hotel key card this. and I sort of look at it and on the back is the address to the hotel oh okay oh thank god right so he said just... oh okay what well, you mean that should have been the first thing you checked that Why? makes me so angry he was 14 also when you were 14 your mom let you have a room a key to the hotel room yeah. My parents did not trust me with the key to the hotel room. What the fuck are you gonna do? They go in there and sneak sleep? They just didn't trust me to not lose it. Who cares if you lose it? They don't know what room it goes to. <laughs> they have to go to each and every room with that key. It's not efficient to steal hotel room keys. My parents got two keys, one for my dad, one for my mom. I'm just saying I would not have thought to check the room. And key. you would have been lost forever. I mean, yeah, I just told you I would have been making <laughs> contingency plans. I was g- going to become the queen of the street urchins. <laughs> just ran to the nearest cab and I went, hello, this address, please. And then just showed them the card and they took me there and it was all fine. Or I died. It's a choose your own adventure. Yeah, like a heavy rain. Yeah, right, yeah. Did you, did you, did you have a quick time right. event where you paid it before leaving? And if not, it just shoots you. <laughs> so <laughs> <bad>. <laughs> All right, this is a good one. If you go back in time with, like, a phone, I don't reckon they would think it's magic. I think they would recognize it's technology because you're essentially going back in time oh, right. when you're showing someone like this. And they don't this go, oh, terrible. magic iPad. They go, this is, you know, obviously just a very sophisticated piece of technology. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they'd have some comprehension. You talk about a, technology going back That was a life. very well-placed, uh, you know, enlightened statement from the internet historian. You know what I mean? It's okay, I paused the show for you so you can get your slurping out of the way. I don't I don't know why you can't just focus for longer than five. It's been five minutes of the video. We haven't made it anywhere. A good time. I didn't expect you to, to pause this. To pause it. 
I I was watching it. I didn't expect you to pause it. You know, it's more sriracha. Put some more sriracha on there. Make it nice and hot. Mm -hmm. You good? <laughs> Down your phone. How's your tum tum feel? All right. The past. I don't know if you've seen this. Uh, this meme. It's very good. Oh, pull it up, Jamie. If I went back in time, I'd blow everyone's mind with my modern knowledge. But how do we make electricity? I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you wouldn't know, right? You wouldn't. You, you'd, you'd think like, holy shit, I could change all this. I, but it's like, explain nuclear fission, please. It's so <laughs> funny that you've brought this up because I had this exact same discussion with Sumito. Do you reckon there's anything he is you dead. back and then just essentially become king with it? A gun. Well, yeah, everyone says gun, but yeah, but g gun. It's like, oh my god, he pointed at man. Man now dead. What? There was there was, a lot, there was light from gun muzzle flash light god is he god he came now that's exactly how it worked even though people just think that because they had kings everybody was just idiots right which yeah a lot of them were I mean the mob right they would they weren't idiots the mob would lose their fucking mind if you showed up with a gun right you just shoot it outside of the fucking plaza and then they would eat you they would they would lose their shit think you're a witch definitely but you know parlor trick they'd be with it but the kingdom is full of very smart people i think they would eat you right. though back then that, it might be like you they're cannibals the <laughs> exactly the first problem you run into even if you went to england okay can i bring two things with me yes a gun yes and no an hesitation okay all right okay. that's and interesting an okay. so you've gone back in time it's a big surprise <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the <laughs> why does everyone fucking default to that picture here's a town ah, that's a very unfortunate picture of you, town so. she's super smart and she knows all the ye old English and such. Of course. <laughs> I would stay the fuck away from someone with a gun with that facial expression. <laughs> I can't believe I'm in the past. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. <laughs> <laughs> so you go back in time. Yep. There's going to be a dude at the gates. I love right. this shit. What do you say to your interpreter to say to the dude? Open up the gate or uh, I will shoot. And then, I'll, yeah, obviously, I'll, that, uh, I'll, I'll point the gun okay. at him. Oh. You you have to you have to open the gate otherwise he'll <laughs> you, he'll, he'll shoot that's the that's the language you're gonna use he probably wouldn't even find the gun threatening right just doesn't like... after seeing this again this is the the problem I figured out here he allowed internet historian to be the DM in this situation never never a good idea always oh, a no. terrible always a no, terrible no. idea the internet historian has to roll for charismatic points in my world there's no way we just give it to him by default understand what it is charisma wait, wait. Uh, I'm not letting you through. <laughs> Now what? Uh, I then turn the gun on the interpreter <laughs> and say, tell him that I will shoot you if he does not open the gate and an innocent life will be on his hands. Uh, what, what, what do I care? You look French or something. <laughs> no Frenchies. Oh shit, I fucking st I feel like I've just lost at chess in three moves. What the fuck happened? Uh... Hold on, now there's two of us. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, you're not getting in. Oh, uh, okay, okay, no, this is good. Okay, so I can shoot make an one. example out of one of them. So definitely, I, I wouldn't say, yeah, say anything. I would just shoot one dead. Right. In what is wrong with you? I mean, I wouldn't style. kill him. Dead now. Uh, I, wouldn't, wait, what's that device? I wouldn't kill him. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if I shot him, he's probably gonna die because of like infection or whatever. Uh -huh. Like they didn't know how to fucking clean shit. Excruciating, yeah, excruciating. But yeah. like, I would shoot him in like the arm or something. Right. Then they would cut it off, and then the the now would get infected, and then he had to explain to his kids what happened, and they wouldn't believe him. They just think he's going crazy because you know the gangrene. Right. Yeah. And you still wouldn't be famous. You just would have killed a guy. But would they have let me in? Today? They know what shrapnel is. You know? From what? How would they know what Shabna was? What do you mean? How would they know? Never mind, we're moving on. How will they know? Stuff gets stuck in people's bodies, even back then. It's not like okay, a new they concept. If they wasn't called shrapnel. Yeah, it's still, it's still the same thing. You got on your hand. God! God sees him. <laughs> How many? How many? <laughs> now what do you do? They're fucking. They're, they're like fucking mimes coming out of a clown car. Just like an infinite amount of them. Well, mimes yeah, they've been preparing for war. Cars. They're constantly at war. So anyone who comes to the gates, they're they're well, on high alert. I, I tell the interpreter, of course, to say, you know, stop. Like any more of you, you'll slow down the fucking frame rate of the game. Okay, so just, just no, no more, or we will kill more of you? Yeah, I think that works. Oh, just, just one more. <laughs> Steve, Steve wants to see what's going on. He's putting on his shoes. You're now locked out of the village, and yeah, all guards to the front. Alright, I think... How many are there in total? Like eight? Eight. Okay, so... Uh, also, wait, hold on. I forgot them, to right? mention another problem. 
Oh, right. shit. Right, hold it right here. We're about to fire. <laughs> oh, no. We're only an archer. And we're extremely accurate. We're an archer with a non-transparent background. <laughs> it's over. I, I, I'd have to shoot the archers. I'd have to shoot them yeah, all dead. Yeah, you have to we'll kill be generous to say you actually managed to hit one, right? So he's gone. You miss Boom. this one, and in fact, the bullet lands the, uh, in the parapet. I'm telling you, as so a they notice the that problem. there's something that's broken the rocks. So they start that's ducking cool for cover behind okay, the great. rocks. They're now firing arrows at you from behind these you're things. You're dead. Right. Okay. You're definitely um, dead. The incredibly brave okay. decision to hide her as a the shield. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked it. You fucked the whole situation up. Oh, I know. I don't know what to do. Yeah. I mean, you're what else is fucking You're gone, never going to become king at this rate. <laughs> yeah, I don't Listen. know how I fucked it up so bad. It's really difficult. I have no have idea how this is supposed guy. to be done. Trailer time. Jane had it all. The looks, the money, the job. You're the best lawyer at the firm. And all that was Boom. missing. Come on, you've got to get out there. Ugh, all men are the same. Was love. Until one day. Everyone, well, I'd like to introduce our new head of RT, Nordman. She Nord. met someone completely totally, different. Totally uh, trustworthy. I mean, he's kind of cute. Hold that elevator. Like and she's about to discover it's fine. what she was missing all along. <laughs> Might be in here for a while. Want to watch the British Netflix catalog? You have access to that. I can access content all across the globe using NordVPN's international servers. So I met this girl. <laughs> My drug is Jesus. This time is different. <laughs> she doesn't even use a VPN when browsing public Wi-Fi. Her personal details are open to the world. Well, maybe I can be the VPN for her. What? Two people from different worlds find themselves <laughs> drawn Nord. together. I found six other users on your account. Wait, I can explain. I wow. only want you. Jane, every woman. Nord, oh. man. I said Nord's a whore. <laughs> six? Six? God damn. Jennifer and so Baker's and Ryan man. Gosling as Shadow Man. Hey, are you up? Well, Nord VPN has 24 hour support. I just wanted to hear your voice. <laughs> Slowly caress his lips. I love Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. I love it. Something about Nord. Where are you? Oh, just popped over to Egypt for a little bit. Italy next. I'll meet you there. Go to nordvpn.com slash incognito <laughs> for tickets so to a two-year plan plus a free extra month money-back guarantee. I love the, the cheesy-ass posters. Yeah. Like they have plastered on. Oh, it's give 100% at work. I've actually definitely seen that one before. Oh, yeah. And where's the one I feel that this love is, this house the is The of choice is Jesus. This home is filled with love. And laundry. And laundry. How creative. Go to nordvpn.com. How inspiring. I mean, tickets to a two year plan Etsy, plus a but free it was like extra a wood burn. money back guarantee. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I wonder who owns it now. Good question. It's quite a nice one. <laughs> Look, you can see the yeah. children running away. <laughs> it's got some cool detail. Like, That's okay, dark. so you've got this. You walk out of your mansion, and then there's kids in that one, kids in that one, kids in that one. <laughs> and then you've got. And then you've got. This is like the clubhouse, I suppose. And then this is where you go for a view off the terrace. What do you Jesus. do when you're on the island? Just relax. That would get so boring after a while. It's like, what's the time? I don't know. I'll have to go here, consult the sundial. The the There's sundial. literally <laughs> nothing to do apart from <laughs> capture children. <laughs> yeah, that would actually be quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> but think about what you say. Like, <laughs> think about what you say. He's gonna say, start sir, from here, sir. And then there's like, what, 500 kids? When the sundial reaches noon, Hmm. That's when the all cage. the cages were released at once. <laughs> you make it sound like it's fucking Hunger Games or something. <laughs> the fucking, uh, the fucking prison that. sound. I forgot that he fucking did this. I thought they were gonna go rodeo style with it, with fucking lassos, you know, they like chase the oh, pigs, God. No. The, the pig wrangling. No, prisoners. That's where I thought they were going. Hunting with that. the greatest game of all. Uh, you know how in the Hunger Games there's like twelve districts, like one to twelve. Yeah. On this one, there's just two. There's District Jeff and District Epstein. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, this is the split down the middle. <laughs> that's it. And then there's like that's a weapons depot. That's a weapons depot. So what do they do with it now? Like, they wouldn't just leave it to rot. Surely someone else gets to buy it. Somebody oh, definitely buy it. I was going to say, what does like, actually happen, happen to Dexter it, though? Welcome to you know, yeah. you find stuff buried in the backyard. Here's a shovel. Hey. Only, you know, two ninety nine or whatever. Yeah, everything's themed. It just becomes like a theme park. Scribble my name off the flight log. <laughs> 
And I'll give you a shot. Oh, Jared. So 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 my name you get an extra life. Off. That's great. Yeah, it's just like everything's <laughs> Epstein themed. Instead of those like lays they put around your neck, it's just a bed sheet noose. Oh my <laughs> like god! Like walks onto the island, gets swept. Guys, um, oh, yeah, it's this guys, was on Epstein please. Island, right? This Everybody gets their own face on one of these once you go on. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely edging on that that YouTube content filter. When you check it, like, what box do we check now? Like, is this... <laughs> Epstein I roller know. coaster or the... Well, I suppose it'll be the Dodgem cars. I was more thinking of, like, a horror house, honestly, but, yeah. Oh, that's quite good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nowhere so to still, hide. Like, mowing these lawns. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Are there any more children there? Are their lives saved? No, 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 no. Look, the, the grass is five centimeters too long. What's those big metal birds in the sky? I'm not sure. They carry people, apparently. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Dude, I'm starting to get a bit wary of flying. Statistically, Me it's basically an anomaly Internet the number historian. of people who go down. But every time there's a little bit of turbulence, I'm just going, it's the, <laughs> it's the big one. Oh my god, yeah. But yeah, I, I know mm. what you mean. I would feel so much more calmed down just by seeing the pilots in the cockpit. Like, even if they were going, whoa, this is a lot of turbulence. This is not good. I'd sort of be calmed by that, just seeing what they were doing. Oh, I mean, you could have... Because you know what the problem is. What's the problem? You can't trust the fucking flight attendants, right? Not at all. They could be chilling, cool, and know that we're all about to go down. There's a lot of conspiracy theories that exist in the world, but, like, flight attendants are paid to lie. Just like McDonald's employees. Like, they're paid to lie to your face. Somewhere Dr. D's ears are burning. She's just like, what? What, what the <laughs> fuck? But it's true, man. Like, you guys don't trust the government. Like, they're, they'll tell you the truth. They don't care. They'll fucking tell you. They don't give a shit. Fli but flight attendants be like, oh, no, this is completely normal. There's just a slight amount of turbulence. It's like, ma'am, we are in the middle of a fucking hurricane. What are you talking Walking about? Walk around the corner, see the ones that are not talking, and how tight they're fucking strapped down. Okay? <laughs> their veins are popping out of their goddamn oh, neck. God. They're so goddamn tight. And she'd be like, oh, yeah, you want to put that uh, tray up? If you know it's good for you, it'll like, <laughs> chop your fucking head off. But that's the problem. Like, we have no way of knowing what's actually happening. And I'm not a fucking pilot. <laughs> the last words, whoops. And you just, like, fucking fall out of the sky. <laughs> fucking dumb. I've been into any cockpit before 9-11. And then they added the locks on the, the I cockpit, did so. when I was a kid. It was my birthday. And uh, my parents told the oh, yeah. stewardess. And, and she goes, oh, would you like to see the cockpit, young man? Oh, hell yeah, I would, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> and you went in there, and it's just like tons of buttons. You ever seen a grown man naked? You know what, I'm convinced 95% <laughs> of these buttons don't do anything. They're just there for show. Oh, definitely, yeah. To make it seem like flying a plane is more complicated. Yeah, it's it's literally like a giant they RGB yeah. There's just so too. many buttons <laughs> that you will just never use. So I don't like flying much anymore. If I could drive a wood... Where would you drive to? Nowhere. Oh, I'd quite like to you. drive around Europe. Quite oh, like to drive oh, around damn. the United States. You could go to the Netherlands and probably hit about 15 cyclists. Have you seen how many people are on bikes in that country? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Some of y'all are definitely getting run over. It's genius, though, because, like, I thought, because when I heard how progressive it was with, like, the cycling, and I was like, oh, great, you know, no carbon emissions, you know, very nice, very nice, very clean. Right. But, man, I just ended up hating cyclists. Because with cars, you can hear them travel, right? You can hear them move. T1. Yeah. Like, unless it's like an Elon Musk Tesla, like, you know, that's going to sneak up on you. But with a cyclist, nothing. <laughs> Isn't that always the worst when you're going for a walk, a and then you suddenly hear, ting, 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 behind you? They do it so <laughs> delayed, right? It should be like a cat. They should wear a little bell around their neck. <laughs> I thought you would just have, like, those, uh... So right, this isn't very practical, actually. I haven't even finished the sentence, and I know it's not practical. But they could have, like, right. all those those air raid sirens that <laughs> would go up. You know, and there's, like, a blitz yeah. in World War II, right? Wow. Obviously, if you didn't that's that reasonable. Netherlands, everyone would be deaf in about 50 minutes. But... Yeah, I don't mind that. Maybe they should all have that little baseball card with the peg on the stroke. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? You know, like the old-timey days. I wasn't born in the 1800s, so I'm not... <laughs> we used to get a pack of gum for two cents, and it would come with a baseball card in it. And you'd put your so Babe good. Ruth card right on the uh, spokes. Oh, I'm a, I'm a zoomer. This is going over my head. You don't know what this is at all? Nah. I've, I've never, never heard, heard of this, of this at all, like, by the way. Stuff, really? Like, never actually. Never. Could you imagine if that actually like had a value of like 250k or something? And he just yeah. folded it in half to put it on his son's bike. Here's an issue with Spider-Man number one. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. 
yeah. This is oh, how to make a bike sound oh like god. a Harley oh my using god. a sports I just had, like, car. I love Jimmy that. Neutron moment. Oh <laughs> my god. I had them. They weren't cards. Yeah. They were like little shitty bits of plastic. Really that boring, should not basically. have been. Yeah, they, they'd flip off the wheels no. and make that noise. Yeah. There's no. this card called like the Fat Gay Pikachu. <laughs> and it's worth, you know, maybe like a thousand bucks, 800 bucks, something like that. Before he opens the pack, for 50 bucks, can you fold the cards <laughs> and, like, put a permanent crease in them? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a permanent crease in it now. Yeah, just molding. <laughs> oh, look at that. My video recommended it. You, you love to see it. Yeah, I can see it down below as well, going camping at the end so of the world. So upsetting. Literally chilling. Yeah. I see the activate windows, by the way. Pay your license, cheapskate. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Never. <laughs> You know how many Nord spots as you get, man? You can't pay for your license. No, it's and I won't. Like, you do the telly not. license. And I plan. shan't. Okay. We pay our license. Listen, Bill Gates has got me injecting his mind control mm -hmm. autism. I'm mm -hmm. not going to give him money his as well. His claims about COVID-19 vaccine are disputed. <laughs> Have you thought of how many destinations in countries get fucking mobbed by tourists because they have like one mediocre attraction there? Oh, mediocre, yeah, like France. So I was looking up uh, like the Leaning France. Tower of Pisa earlier on. Yeah, and and it's post. genius because you see the, the tower and you think, okay, it looks pretty nice, like nice little attraction. Mm. But it's the kind of thing you could just see from Google Images. I've never yeah. understood there are people the appeal that will fly of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. There just I thought it was the food. Like you thought it was the Leaning Tower of Pizza? No, no, Jesus Christ, I'm not that out. Hurt ankle. Sorry. I didn't it's okay. Do that. Uh, you know how, like in Vegas, they just they bring food stands to every attraction. I thought you said food stamps, and I was like, who? Help me out. Just one, in one sentence I say, can we be on the same page? I thought it was the food. It's not interesting anymore. That's what I thought <laughs> people went for. We're moving on. They like to lean. I got it. Okay. See the tower. And the worst thing is about it, I have seen pictures on Google Images of like, not even hyperbole, a hundred people, yeah. and they're all trying to do the same shitty pose. And none of them are eating. They're trying to lean this on the tower. Yeah, yeah, holding up the tower, yeah. yeah. They're all doing it at the same time. Food. Yeah, it's not a good situation over here, as far as I can tell. I didn't know you could go for pizza. Can you? Uh, I mean, yeah, there does seem to be a queue. Unless they're queuing for the toilet. <laughs> Maybe the toilets are in the tower. Could you imagine? Oh, just all the at the top. Just at the very top. <laughs> like, it's one year and <laughs> on display. Sometimes I see all those places countries. that just have like an enormous amount of rubbish. Yeah. And I think, right, um, oh, where's the bins? Uh, this I says, dogs foaming at the mouth yeah, trying to eat you. Trying to eat you. Jellyfish ridden water and sandfly infested beaches. Really quickly. Uh-huh. Jellyfish, th that's their home. <laughs> like, it's like, no, go ahead, because I got something to tell you. Because it's like the fucking, what is it, like shark <laughs> infested, like that is their home. Okay, you sound just like Nico, because because Marvel was like, oh man, all these idiots are trying to get uh, shark attacks rebranded as yeah, animal interactions. That's so stupid. But like our chat is full of animal lovers. So then Nico yells, that's their living room. It is. <laughs> like, okay, here's like here's my thing, right? Like I am afraid of whales, right? Like I don't, like me and whales, we don't vibe. But like, I'm not sitting here like, how dare these whales exist in the ocean? Like they, I am what does not belong in the ocean, yeah. clearly. That is their living room. <laughs> I I understand the concept, but I am not that passionate about it. Same I'm thing. sorry. Same thing with like sandfly infested be beaches. Like it's a beach. I don't. Where would you like the sandflies to go? Where do you want them to be at? But there is trash here. Okay, the trash is what doesn't belong there. Uh huh. Okay, but the jellyfish and the sandflies—they're just living you their must lives. Have pork fat for every meal since they serve absolutely nothing else. A Karen wrote this, you know it. Places you know it. Fucking like Brad wrote this. Of rubbish. Yeah. And I think, um, oh, where's the bins? That's yeah, super yeah, gross, nice. Put some bins around. More bins. Easy. People are so disgusting. What's travel stuff? Travelators. I still don't quite understand why they haven't been adapted throughout whole cities in some places. Like you only ever see those in the airport, and I don't. In the what, whole what city, I'm dead. You know, like a travelator. <laughs> oh, that, that's like an escalator, but just flat. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah, I, never the name of them. Uh, I didn't know either. Way, yeah. And like, yeah. so why don't they just have them in the middle of the city on pavements and stuff? What, too expensive? You lazy But surely, they're <laughs> lazy, lazy bastard. bastard. <laughs> Across like, 
<laughs> They're not <laughs> even faster. Like obesity <laughs> rates in the Western world. It's literally gonna just quadruple if you fucking add these things everywhere. These poor well, men that they that chose for like, that. Especially in like London, where everyone's trying to get to the tube or whatever. If you had that on the high street, how would you be able to get off it if you wanted to go to a certain shop? Unless you divided it into yeah, junctions, two baby. Continuous and the other. Yeah, two lines, isn't it? Also, if someone, oh, if someone oh. fell over, it's yeah. like a fucking oh. domino effect. Yeah. Like eighty oh, people. Oh no! Over. It's over. Yeah, but the, yeah, they still have them in the airport. Like people can fall over in the airport ones. This is like one of those ideas Elon Musk has at three in the morning. <laughs> so Elon, Elon, come on, you shouldn't. No, you can't build cars on the ground, Elon. Come on. <laughs> right. Oh, I can't do an Elon Musk impression. Let me let me try. If 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 we have uh, travelers going. Through the whole city, then everyone will get to their destination a lot faster. <laughs> Finally, one of the reasons other than it's talk. expensive. You don't need to. Oh, it can't get rained on. And also, the homeless they, would sleep. They can't get rained on. <laughs> just these homeless people, just all traveling the city. <laughs> they are surprisingly waterproof. In Vegas, they get flooded every single season. Where? They also shut down on the strip. The Escalators do not travelators. It's the, literally the it is literally the no, same technology. No, travelators are travelators are different. There's gigantic holes underneath them too. Did you know that? Yeah, I saw that lady get eaten by one. Yep. Nom, 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 nom. But she saved her baby. She gave like her baby to somebody else, See? and then she died. See, that's really good. There's also one where a lady just walks in it because she's on her phone, and that's she didn't save anyone. Awful. Maybe she was sending a really mean text message. <laughs> right? Just. And that's why I let your dog die. And then she falls. Play the video. I don't know. <laughs> he just ruined this. Oh, what? That I'm makes really happy it so you much better. This cathedral in Spain. I had experience with a church in Spain. So I was on holiday. I, I don't remember how old I was. I think like 10 or something. Pretty young. So we're walking around. We go into this nowhere near the What's size of that man? cathedral. This is like baby's first Minecraft cathedral. Mm. Uh, it's in like a tiny little village. We go in there. It's just full of cats. Cats absolutely everywhere. Why? 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 I, I don't know. It's just maybe they had like a cat god or something. Who knows? But there <laughs> was a bell right and it was like on a striped pulley it, it looks so attractive to, to yoink it me at 10 years old i was like no i'm not gonna do this i'm an adult this is my first adult move in my life i would not pull that bell this is like pandora's fucking box i'm not touching that bell mm. smart my he dad smart pulls kid. the fucking bell <laughs> Boing. No, I'm not even making this up. Every villager, like, like, a fucking, like it's a Minecraft siege or something. Every villager comes out. They're all there. They're, they're all shouting at me. I feel like I'm in some like bit from Breaking Bad or something where they're in Mexico, just everyone screaming at us. You know, they're saying like, "Yo, why are you pulling the bell? Why, why? It just why are you, you know, pulling the bell? <laughs> <laughs> why are you pulling the bell? The catabell." And my dad, as heroic as he was and as brave as he was, let him take fucking the fall, right? The bus and blamed me. What a fucking asshole. <laughs> he literally just points at me. He's like, "Oh." Oh, no, it was him. It was, it, was him. It. it was him. I didn't do it. It was him. Oh. Because obviously in his brain, no. it was like all these angry people that don't speak my language. If, you know, if they think it's the child, yeah. then surely, you know, we might just get like Little a jail you know, sentence. It's a child sacrifice. <laughs> Honestly, I think <laughs> I would do yeah. the same. I'd, I'd have something like, oh, come on. He's only a kid. Son, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> pretending like we'll punish him. Yeah. I think I'd do that too. That'd be fun. <laughs> oh my God. Have you been anywhere in America? Yes, yes, more than once even. Did you go to California? Yeah, I went to LA. I hated it, and so did every Come person who lived there that I asked about it. Yeah, I went to- Come to Vegas. Then go eat pie. Come to Vegas. Get on the pie, get on the board with the pie thing. Eh. What would you take him to do if you came to Vegas besides eat? Right, like it's just various eating events. Um, yeah, I would take him to go see Usher. Oh, yeah. I heard he humps the stage in that one. Yeah, very Vigorous. sexual. Vigorous. Very sexual. <laughs> very, there's like very just like dick centered uh -huh. uh, performance. His poor wife is just watching this. Like, why do we? Some would even say that they're they've experienced an awakening. Right. Right. Uh huh. So I feel like that would be a positive. Bonding experience. Boom. Just, that would be great. We'll go eat, then we'll watch Usher, and then that'll make us more hungry, and we'll go eat again. Do Australians know who Usher is? Yes, yeah, right? You guys know who Usher is. You got it, bad. That guy. Ba boo. You know? <laughs> that narrows it down. None. All right, here we go. 
to Venice Beach. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know that place, right? I know it from GTA. Yeah, no, literally, I was walking. I was like, oh my god, this is the place GTA stole from. Mm. Yeah, so I was walking down there, and I got offered crack about five oh, times. Oh Jesus! Oh nice. <laughs> These little oh, meth nice. goblins would just literally come out of the sand and just be like, you know, you want some. Like, imagine the merchant from Resident Evil 4, but instead he just has crack and nothing else. That'd be really <laughs> annoying, because you'd buy crack from the first guy, but then you'd just keep being asked as you go, down, go along, you know? It's like, oh, I've already bought the crack. Like, I don't need... As soon as the person makes line of sight, they will run towards you and open the dialogue. Yeah. You want some crack? Would you go to space? Would you go to the main? Jeff Bezos Ooh, just went question. to space today. I'd probably be today? shit scared. Yes. Jeff Bezos. Did he get lost? Unfortunately not. Is he stuck? Unfortunately, no. Just floating around up there, we have no. like a little fucking Jeff, no. or in orbit at all times, while no. looking down. It'll be that like, would have been useful. We're gonna rocket him up food and water because we can't get him down. Who's rocketing up food and water? Jeff and Jeffanites. We can't afford that. He definitely got like a, a cult, like an underground cult, <laughs> that just like eat his money. <laughs> <laughs> You don't, just don't want to end up like the challenger. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I feel like yeah. once I'm there, I'll be like, oh, nice, okay, wow. So you'd go to the moon? Yeah. I feel like it'd make me very existential, just being able to mm. see the Earth. Yeah. So you would go to the moon? Then. You mean just to visit, right? Not live there? Yeah, yeah, no, you don't, you're not stranded, although. No. No, okay. <laughs> so, first thing you're on the moon. Never let right? internet historian be the I DM. Know, exactly. I came with anyone? Or am I just completely on my own? Yeah, you're allowed to bring one friend. Uh, okay, I'll bring the interpreter from the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fire this guy. <laughs> Fucking fire him. Memes aside, realistically, I would probably just spend like a full hour just looking at the earth. Just it's, trying to There's nothing else to do. I'm yeah, not no. Anymore. Yeah. That's what I think I'd do. I want to dig a hole. <laughs> yeah, no, you're just like one of those man children that thinks it's made of cheese still. <laughs> Apparently the consistency of the moon is like ash. Like it's so fine. Not like sand. It's like cigarette ash. And mm. I just want to see like what if what if you found something? So what are you planning to find that tens of drones haven't found? Oh, I don't know. Cheese. Are you going to say cheese on me? <laughs> <laughs> no, aliens in that. Okay. Real quick. Please leave. Uh-huh. I like. I know it's so funny. So real quick. Uh huh. So like, there's no Wi-Fi on the moon yet, right? Obviously. Yet yeah, they're yeah. setting up cell towers. Not anytime soon. <laughs> Soonish. But listen. Yeah. There's no Wi-Fi. But. But. What if mm -hmm. I have downloaded mm -hmm. episodes? What else you download? I downloaded know. episodes from Netflix mm -hmm. onto my phone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can I then watch Netflix? Mm -hmm. On my phone. Hard drives still function, even on the moon. So, absolutely. So do batteries. So I can watch Netflix on the moon. Right. There's nothing stopping me. That's what the world used to be like before Wi-Fi. <laughs> you know, Wi-Fi is relatively new in places. We used to have to have pre-downloaded things. CDs even. CDs are just the pre-downloaded version of movies. So I feel like... Yeah. You should do that. That was the youngest thing you've ever said, and we're pretty close in age. That was upsetting. I was just confirming that, mm -hmm. like, Netflix would still even, like, work. Because you know how, like, sometimes, like, when our internet goes out and stuff, like, Netflix won't even open. Yeah, but the downloading function is a local process. But if I can't get Netflix open, I can't get to the stuff that I've downloaded. It's a local process on your computer. So the domain is saved in your... No, it would be on my phone. So, like, if you're on, like, your computer... And like you go to Netflix.com and it still loads, but your internet is out mm -hmm. because you have cookies downloaded. It's just a you're just watching an old image of the website. It's not actually a current image of the website. Mm -hmm. That's what happens on your phone. Mm -hmm. So you don't have internet access. You just mm -hmm. have your downloaded movie folder. You just watch it. Movie party. Yeah, on the moon. On the moon. I feel like all you do there is just you know like have like a sand castle. Okay. Make yeah. like a chair. Yeah. In the thing. Lay in it. All right, well, thanks for coming on the show, Pyrocynical. I can see you're on your Travelator now. and I'm you're to the moon. Headed to Here I go on the Travelator. Immediately I... walking on that, a homeless person. Oh my god. Why are all there? these homeless people going to the moon? I'm quite confused. Oh fuck, you get all the way to the moon and then you forget your toothbrush. And you gotta go back. <laughs> more you didn't give me a fucking space suit. But yeah, no. The, the toothbrush They'll have is more dome. It'll be fine. They, you don't need a suit. They just say that for safety reasons. Guys, oh, okay. There's a dome. And then you go there and it's just it's like... More 
homeless people there as well. <laughs> yeah, we just send the homeless to a dome on the moon. <laughs> Wait, I love it. I feel this I is a really drink niche we can do that they didn't make the final cut. Hey, I heard you quit YouTube. Oh, yeah, 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 no, I'm quitting YouTube. I'm gonna upload exclusively onto Paul. I, I heard that your merch got recalled for having asbestos <laughs> in it. Is that true, Paul? Do you want to comment on it? Uh, that's not fraud. That's not fraud. I'd call that a... That's just false <laughs> advertising. That's not fraud. <laughs> anyway, so that was the only controversy that you have had in recent history, and uh, we're all gonna move on. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Leave my house, please. <laughs> she said, get out. Adios, amigo. Hey, I'm back. Remember, there's a two-year plan, and it was free yesterday, money, 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 money. <laughs> Fantastic! It was even more fun the second time. Thank you, wife. Thank you, husband. I, I fucked that up. No, no, dude, no, no. We'll shit, no. We'll just shake hands like this. Thank you guys so much uh, for hanging out with us, and we'll see you guys around. It was more fun the second time we did it. I promise. Twice as many technical difficulties. Okay. I think I'm just gonna leave that whole part in. I think we're just gonna leave everything in. I think I quit. I do not. I do not. I do not want any ramen. Thank you, though. Get that out of my fucking face. No, there's even a carrot. It's making me queasy already. I'll sneeze in it. I'm, my nose is tickling.